Hello, everyone. I forgot the money. I got it now. Here we go. So you, if you want to let me know if you can hear me, that would be awesome. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes those mic, it's a challenge. So another quill card tonight. Uh, this time it's some weaving involved in it. So it's kind of fun. But before we get started tonight, I got some housekeeping, put it that way. So Stamping Up announced um, the retire list for the annual catalog and also for the mini catalog so that you can get uh, the list on my blog. Let me flip you down. I think I'm going to be able to explain that better with sharing what it's all about. Okay. And so you get two lists. If you go to my blog at frenchystamps.com, got it someplace there, frenchystamps.com. The O's code there, it's not, oh, I think I can. Okay, so at frenchystamps.com, you're going to get, um, you can print or look at it in a big print. Every year, um, and we struggle with the print and then we get the English and the French and different language. So uh, Trudy, one of my teammates, she's uh, excellent at Excel and she do it for us. So see how big those prints are so you can get that on my blog. So you get the one for the annual catalog and then you get the one for the mini catalog okay the mini catalog it's um just two page there one thing i want to know to you all it's all the bundle listed at the bottom so we didn't mix it with the other one i asked her to put that separately and i think it's a lot nicer it's the the product in the bundle are carry over but the price of the bundle it's not available uh, in the new catalog coming up in may 1st Meaning that you can, like, be my Valentine, you can buy the stamp set and you can buy the punch, but not as the bundle. If you want, like, a bundle, it's 10% when you can order it as a bundle. Well, remember that. that it's carry over the product, but not the, the price of the bundle, okay? So that's going on. And now, um, this year... I know many of you are gonna, some of you are upset about it. Some of it, you, we all get our opinion. But one thing that I'm gonna tell you though, it's um, stepping up tell us that they're raising the price. So it's not many store that, you know, they give us a warning, hey, we're gonna raise the price. So at least we know. So if the budget permit, I would say, some of the stuff you want to like stock up would be the cardstock, the envelope, some glue. So I get a list also on my blog on that. Like the color card stock, it's going up $1.50 a pack. The assortment, a dollar. Okay, so the eight and a half by eleven in color card stock, it's going up $150. The white and the vanilla, the regular one, not the thick, but the regular one. That it's going up, sit down, 250. So that's why I say if you can afford it now, stock up. So you want, you know, you can have it at the lower price. The new price start May 1st. So we get quite a chance here. The only thing I think the more that we preach it, the price it's going up, I'm afraid we're gonna maybe run out of it for a bit. And so the earlier the better, because you know they don't do back order anymore. So if it's not in the house, then we cannot order it. And then the thick, I got, I got such a tough time with that. I feel I'm spitting all over. Uh, the thick white and vanilla, well, the thick white, it's going up 225. The vanilla, it's only available while supplies last because it's going to retire. Also then the vanilla envelopes. So the thick vanilla and the envelopes are retired. The regular vanilla are still available and that go up to 50. Now the 12 by 12 cardstock, it go up, the sermon go up 150. The envelopes go up 250. Clear envelope 50 cents. 
uh, Memento Ink, $1.50, all re ink per 50 cents. The blends, the blend, the stamping blends are going up a dollar a pack of two. The glue dots are going up a dollar fifty, and so then the uh, liquid glue. So the consumable are going up. So if you can't afford it now, I would say it would be a great time to, um, uh, you know, stock up. Now with the retire list, though, they give us, uh, you know, some stuff they're going to retire. I got three blocks here. Those three blocks are getting retired. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's three blocks that I use a lot. So let me flip you down and we're going to get the show going. But here, this one here, it's the uh, J. I'm sorry, G, the blog G. I love that for a lot of my greeting. Remember when we had Tiny Wishes? Uh, I mean, so many of them. I love this blog. So if it's any demonstrator out here, when the semi truck is coming, Scott, uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so if you get uh, tiny wishes, uh, which are the when we had some all the same size greeting, <coughs> excuse me, that was awesome. And if you're a demonstrator and you do class, maybe you want to stock up on this one. Oops. So that's one that I use a lot, and it's only available while supplies last. Again, that is the letter G. Now, this one here, if you get like little petals and uh, leaves and that, that's another one I use quite a bit. It's A. Uh, in all the one I'm showing you, this is my to-go, okay, for greeting. I think that absolutely, if you don't have that one, uh, it, it's... It's going to fit on bigger uh, thing, but it's just that when you use a big stamp, a big block for a little stamp, you tend to rock it and hit the ink on your thing. Tiny Wishes, yes, it was an awesome one. So A, it's another good one. Now, this one here, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't use it that much, okay? But it's a big but at this that the long stem flowers i like it for that also remember last week or not last week i was um, in houston the week before we used the sweetly scripted stamps well that one fit good i have to reach for a drink of water here one second okay i have, <clears throat> i don't know i i eat some peanuts and i think that was still in the back of my throat Okay, the sweetly strip. See how long it is? Well, it fit perfect on this. But like tonight, we're going to use this one. It don't fit on this one. See it go off. Now you can always. Um, where was the other one? Uh, this is the letter E. You can always use the letter E, but see it. A little bit off and this one it's not the longest I think are they all the same size yeah they're all about the same yeah so you can always use the E but it go off a tiny little bit it would be okay okay but see it get off a bit and it get off a bit so you would be able to do it it's just that when let me show you here what I mean by this and so when you stamp with a big block and a little stamp, it's easy to rock. You See, I rock my stamp easy. And then when I stamp it, a lot of time it go on my paper. So that's why it's important or I don't know, important or it makes life a lot easier if you get a better size block. I think it's dry there. So, so, and some people got, um, I saw somebody say with arthritis, they had a tough time with the quill and some, and that is a main concern for um, people with arthritis or sometimes it's another name to, uh, with the muscle, it's hard to grab a big uh, block. So, 
keep that in mind if you don't have that one then if you would have to go with this one well this is i cannot hold it anytime i say it's bigger than my hand i say leave it there and tap it you know bring your paper there well when it's just a little greeting it make it tough so just remember so the g the a and the i are going away okay and any long stem flower this was a very friendly and it's not too wide it's easy to hold oh i already got some ink and i did one little thing my goodness so <clears throat> i wanted to share that because everything on the retire list it's only available while supplies last okay enough of the commercial and let's get jiggy and stamp tonight so the month of march for my customer appreciation it's all about quilt cart and i said i'm going to carry that over for my create on the fly so in the download for customer appreciation you got 17 yes 17 cards five different quilt pattern so if you place an order of $50 or more with the host code, just visit my blog. You're going to get the download of all these cards with five exclusive video. That it's not the video are not there, but with uh, the download. <coughs> and it's all about quilting. Five different patterns of quilt. And then I use... <coughs> my goodness, I'm sorry. I use some different uh, paper show you the different one so this is a star tonight we're doing another star i was inspired by john one of uh, my teammate did a quill card and i said oh my gosh i never saw that one and it's called the weave star quill and he learned it from may may made it okay and i learned it from john so see and now you guys may be going to learn it from me who knows if you know about it or not it is um i won't say it's a super super easy one but it's not a difficult one neither okay because i i cannot say it's super easy just because that the measurement you're gonna need i'm using a uh, hello irresistible right in this in the description i got the measurement and also I share to uh, post your creation on uh, the Create and Share with Friendship on Facebook. I will announce the winner on March 31st. I just picked the winner for the, the bird. It was Ellen Dilly. I just announced it uh, Wednesday. And uh, the winner got a stack of designer syrup paper to make more quilt card. So this time you're going to put weave star quill card and you get it right in the description. So make your card. If you want to make 20, make 20. If you want to make one, make one. Share it at uh, Frenchie Create. Uh, create and share with Frenchie. You get the link below on Facebook, okay? You have to make sure you add the, the hashtag because that's how I pull the, all the, the one that's shared. Okay, you're going to need four of a different print, okay? It's better if you use different print. Four of, um, this is half inch by two, uh, three and a half. Half inch, and you get the measurement below. Half inch by three and a half. Now, you're going to take this time it doesn't matter a pen or whatever because i'm going to make sure to remove it you're going to make a line each end at half inch so half inch at that end and half inch at that one you just have to mark one of them now you're going to take all four of them and we're going to cut from the mark that we did to the tip so half inch you mark and then we're going to go this way snip and snip 
see so it's really two marks and then boom it's done you don't have to make one by one because that would really really be tedious work now the next four you need three and three quarter three and three quarter by a quarter three and three quarter by one quarter now you're going to make a mark at a quarter so you remember it's you can remember that three and a quarter you make a mark at a quarter three and a half and it's f you make a mark at f inch so here it's a quarter and here it's a quarter then you're going to need four of them i get two of them for some reason this is three i should have four we're going to make it work i had left over from another card so let's check this out here okay that was not even here we go i had one longer but that's okay that way and then this way so it's a lot easier if you cut them all together right because then they're all the same length so now we're going to start about the same than the bird that we did but a little bit different so this year it's four by four we're going to trim it we're going to do just the same thing than last week i need pencil no i do i do okay so you're going to do a four by four and this time it's the same than this size but this time instead of folding an f we're going to fold it diagonal so you're going to fold this diagonal um, she um, measure and all that you know me I don't measure I just uh, I like to, anytime to find a center I like to use the same thing and fold it in four and make it so much easier so we're going to put this over here and don't go all the way and go very lightly very lightly and then go the other way so now we're going to have our center mark Plus, we're going to have our diagonal. See that? Okay. Now, we're going to bring the glue. And we're going to start with the big one. So, I like, <clears throat> I like to have... Um, okay, I need to find my center of one of this here. And I'm just going to pinch it just the first time. So, then I know okay and the long part gonna go out the short part in meaning the then you know that a diagonal gonna go in the mark you're gonna put one right there on the top of the mark and one below and you know what i think i'm gonna do that Okay. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna put glue, but just like in the four, the four cor uh, center, like this. See, that's it. Very important that you don't put too much glue because we have to make miracle here. Here we go right there i know my center and go right at your line there inch now i'm going to take this one and then we're going to go equal with this one and pitch now this year we're going to go under I went too quick here oh, oh here we go and again oh i need to know my center of one because just one of them because we can go i went a little bit too fast on the thing i hope i can lift it up put one there now this one here i need to lift it up a bit here we go and then we're going to bring the other one okay now i can do this and do this there and we're going to bring that right here okay so now 
we got the weave star. Now we're going to crank it up a notch. So just, you don't want to go past that just on top of this here because we're going to make more magic here, okay? So now you see, really, you got that star, weave star, it's called. Now, I was looking, it didn't look straight, but it is. Now we're going to go ahead and this again, the in going to go in. I have to decide which going to go which. So, oops, this one, see, was not cut all the way. I'm going to fix that like that. And I'm going to bring this. So this, like this one, it's under. So I have to go under this one. And I'm just going to place it right now. I'm not gluing nothing, okay? Now, I'm going to take a pinkish one. And so this one, it's under. I have to go under this one because this is at the top. And go this way. And I got a little tick mark here I want to remove even if it's shorter a bit. Oh, one. I think I wanted to put the other side, but that's okay. Again, it had the uh, diagonal need face in. So see, the reason not to glue right away, right? Here we go. So where it go on top, you need to go under. So you're going to reverse, weave that, okay? Now another one, uh, I want blue. So I'm Going like blue, green, pink, blue, green, pink. That's what I'm doing here. And I think I'm going to use this one here. So this one, I need to go under this here like this. And it's more this way. And then this one. Let me go to plane. So I need to lift this and then this. Okay, now, oops, again, the wrong way. See, it's a reason why you don't want to cut the, I mean, glue too quick. Okay, now look at it and decide, okay, that looked pretty good. Now we can add the glue. So to, I like to add the glue on the big one first. So I'm going to make sure this is pushed all the way here. And then I'm going to add my glue there. And then lift this one up. And glue. Now I'm going to come over here. Make sure this is push and glue, lift, and I just put a little dab, just a little dab going to go a long way here and there. Now we're going to do the same thing at this end. Okay, so now that that's pretty much glue, the best thing to do is flip this upside down and really press in the back. So then you're going to push the glue. Okay, now we're going to glue the other one. This one, I just want to make sure that this one was pulled. So I just pulled to make it equally. Then I can go put a little dab there that and you see i don't even press it right now just because i'm gonna go ahead and go from the back and push it back here no biscuit okay just make sure it's pulled tight flip it Oh, 
Okay, now before we're going to emboss, oh, this one, squeeze there. Here we go. Before we're going to, we want to erase. If you still see your uh, mark, you want to erase that before we're going to emboss. And if you get some bit of glue, like I do here and there, you want to, it's better if you remove it before embossing. Now, I did one that I use, again, um, the countryside, like last week. Um, I'm going to use the same thing, but this time, I want the flower to pop up, and really the flower, it's in then. So what I'm going to do is put it in the back. I'm going to go from the back and put the center right there, the center of the flower there, right in the center. Oops, I can twist this stuff. Okay, let me emboss this. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Here it is. Now we're going to crank it up a notch tonight. And I'm going to use my pick tool. And I'm going to go right in the center. And just, because I don't have no punch that reach that, okay? So I'm just going to go and enlarge that a bit. About like this. I don't know if it's enough. We'll see in a minute. I'm going to take a pretty peacock, a gold, a pretty peacock and gold ribbon. And <clears throat> I'm going to cut. Oh, don't need much, but I want to have enough though. Oops. Here we go. Uh, let me get my good scissors here. That just chewed up. It must be old scissors. You want to go diagonal and you want to go diagonal. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, um, John inspired me with the a team challenge. I'm sure that you guys saw on my blog when I shared the team uh, challenge. If you look for uh, last week, I think I shared that. John's card, that's what it was. Now, we're going to do a French knot in the center of this. What you're going to do, it's do a very soft not well just a single knot okay you want it soft don't pull it tight now you're going to take the two diagonal put the diagonal together and we're going to put that in the hole here okay now i got both one you're going to pull a bit on one, a bit on the other one, a bit on one and a bit on the other one. You don't want to pull all one and then pull the other one. You, you're just going to have a completely knot. You will not have a French knot. This is a cheap French knot. See now it's pretty tight and then I'm going to come here and it's pretty tight there too. See that beautiful knot that we get there? And you're going to say, well, to mail, it go very flat when you mail because it's not a hard knot. Now, oh, shoot. I almost said that word live. Oh, my sailor's mouth. My sailor's mouth almost got caught. What I'm going to do, we have to trim this at three and three quarter. And you're going to say, why don't you start it at that? just like the bird you know why i didn't start it at four by four it's easier because when you play with bits and pieces sometimes you go more one side than the other now i'm going to come over here and i'm going to cut just a little bit this one it was pretty much in the center so three and three quarter and then we're going to do the same thing here three and three quarter and it's better that you trim before you do your embossing. Depending on your embossing, it's, it's like those deep ones. Sometimes when you cut, it want to just like T 
tear. So what you have to do is press on your um, press on your whatever the the guy here. Press on that, and your blade needs to go quick and deep. So and just remember that it's better to cut before. So now this in the back, we're gonna use, we're gonna spread that, and you want one at one end, one at the other end. And the reason, so you don't want a big chunk back there, you know, to have like whatever, like when you tuck your pants and you, you don't spread it good, you get a lump in the back. So that's the way it is. You want to really put it flat. And don't, don't put both at the same end because it would be too thick. See, so you want that very flat. Now, I got the same paper. That's the Hello Irresistible. That's an online exclusive. It's still available. I get the direct link below that you can order. We're going to put that in the back. I mean, in, on top of it, layer that like this okay now uh, we're going to do um, the same uh, fold than last week really uh, um, it's called um, book bound so go at four and a quarter last week I did it wrong this time I'm going to do it right four and a quarter score and go at five and a half and score okay so it is four and a quarter and five and a half that you score and this is basic white that's the one you want to stock up because it's going up 250 or 225 something like that now we're going to glue this right here mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it this way put that right here now I got I think this is a one by four one by four yes we're gonna put that right here and uh I thought to put another white on top of that, but I changed my mind. So if you put a layer of white, it's going to be three quarter by, um, wait a minute, three quarter by three and three quarter. Let me see if my math is right here. Okay, um, three quarter by three and three quarter. Well, I'm glad you guys like that, right? I think it's beautiful. The minute I saw that, I'm like, ooh. So see, I could put another one there. But I want, I think I want to stamp directly on my designer series paper. If I don't like it, then I'm going to put the white on top. So I'm using Pretty Peacock because I got quite a bit of Pretty Peacock in it, but it's more in the pink, but still. And I get Thinking of You and... You guys, get your tissue ready, okay? You know how much I love this set, right? It's it's called Go-To Greeting, and it's really my go-to greeting. Oh, beautiful. Well, it's getting retired. Can you believe that? So, you all, if you don't have this stamp set, I think you better, I mean, if you can't afford it, get it now before it sell out it's like a it's really go to greeting absolutely you get three different size and different font so you got this is like happy birthday happy birthday and happy birthday see three size now you get thinking of you thinking of you thinking of you three size just a note just a note just a note and um thinking of you just a note oh thank you thank you thank you thank you the only one that you don't have the three size it's the hello that is a beautiful set and it's only available while supplies last okay 
Now I'm going to take uh, this one here and I'm going to cut that at, this was cut at one inch, so make it easier to remember. We're going to go at one inch by four, the same than the top. So then it's easy to remember. So um, I am very, and yeah, it's looking at that going, but you know what? I just keep curing stuff at the exception of go to greeting will stay in my room and you're still going to see me use it. And I'm going to say, just find another greeting in the catalog. <laughs> it's just that it's so, because a lot of time you're like, oh, I want something bigger, smaller. It's all under one. Okay, now you're going to glue uh, this part here. So that's what make it like the book bound. So I'm going to cover that there. And I'm just going to bring this piece of designer series paper. You know what? I'm going to put it on this side here. So you still have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter to write. And the other one, I put it there. But this one, somebody going to win it. Maybe you like to uh, write more than me. Well, they need place for new one, Verna. That's why if we keep always the old one, like I told somebody, we would still be cooking on a uh, stone and uh, outdoor fire and so on. So we need to keep on switching things so we can have some new. Here we go. How beautiful is that? Is that beautiful? So do you want to see the one that I did more in the pretty peacock? Okay. So, cause you get like the pink and the blue in that. That is another paper that, I mean, I use that so much. See, you get in the pink and yellows and then you get like in the blue and greens. That paper, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. It was one of the first uh, online exclusive. Okay, now here is the one in the blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you so much, John, for inspire me to uh, create that. When I look at that, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, ooh, that looked very um, tricky to uh, make. And see, when you get the direction and that, boom, it's done. It's, it's kind of easy. It's not, you know, a scale 1 to 10, and 10 would be the easiest. I would say, well... Maybe that's a seven, eight, seven, because it's not bad with the, the measurement. You get the hard part done, right? And just remember when you glue also, just start the center because we have to weave. So now remember all month of March and we're almost done. You know, we're already the 21st. So 10 days we're done. You're going to get, with the qualify order, you're going to get 17 uh, measurements for the cards and five different video for quill card. That's my customer appreciation for the month of March. Now, this one also, did you see, instead of the ribbon, I used the glossy dot. Now, last week, not last week, but the week before, the winner, that was our uh, bird. That got a lot of love. I mean, very much so. Um, the winner for this, see, it's the same. Uh, and this one we embossed there. Uh, the winner of the bird is Debbie Salinas. S-E-L-I-N-A-S. -E so congratulations. Go at FrenchyStamps.com. And please give me your mailing address, and I'm going to send that to you. And I don't write anything when th those cards that you guys win, I don't write anything in it. So when you get it, you can use it the way that you want. Like this one, it's a happy birthday. I try to do a lot of thinking of you because that can be for birthday. It can be for thank you, just thinking of you, just because, and so, and so on. So... I think that's about it. So um, remember, if you do this card, go share it at um, Create and Share with Frenchie. I got the link in the description of the Facebook group. 
you're going to click on it, click join, and I'm going to approve you. And then when you share, you're going to put the hashtag, we start quilt cart. And the reason why you want to put the hashtag, because when it comes to the drawing, I put the hashtag and it pull everybody. And then I go, you know, how many people I draw the numbers and boom, that's the way I do the drawing. Because a lot of time, you know, if it's a lot, it gets lost and so on. So very important that you share your, um, that you put the hashtag when you share. So and that's about it. And next week, it's still March. So I'm going to have another quilt card. I don't have a clue what it's going to be, but I'm going to make another quilt card to finish our uh, March uh, quilting cards. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I get the measurement below and the easy uh, shopping button if you want that beautiful paper and such. Have a lovely day or lovely evening. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.